Hi, my name is Lane Spradlin. I'm a marketing product specialist for Heston by Massey Ferguson Hay Equipment, and today we'll be going through a few settings on the Massey Ferguson LB2200 large square balers. One of the most important things that can affect your large square baler's performance is stuffer settings. First thing I'm gonna do is check how easily it's tripping, and to adjust that, you can adjust this linkage here or slide this block here. One of the first things that you wanna check is to make sure that the center line of this roller is about three quarters of an inch away from this edge, and to adjust that, you'll loosen these jam nuts and rotate this turnbuckle. The second thing I'm gonna look at is the gap between these two blocks. And to adjust that, I will loosen these two nuts and slide this apparatus in the appropriate direction. It's difficult to see, but the blocks I'm referring to are this one at the back and this one right here. And the gap is right in there. The next adjustment I'm gonna look at is our wrapper spacing. So I'm gonna measure from the back of the stuffer chute to the back of these wrappers at the top, as well as at the bottom directly behind our trip door. I want that spacing to be parallel from the bottom to the top or slightly tapered out going towards the top. Another crucial setting for the stuffer is stuffer timing, but don't worry, that'll be set from the factory. Over here on the right-hand side of the machine is our adjustments for the pickup height. To adjust the pickup height, we're gonna move this stop right here, and then we're gonna come over here and adjust the spring that allows the pickup to float easily over uneven terrain. Moving the block forward on the spring decreases float pressure, making the pickup ride heavier. Moving the block on the spring backwards increases float pressure, making the pickup ride lighter. Now that I've set my pickup height, I'm gonna adjust the gauge wheels. I want my gauge wheel to be below my pickup tines, but still off the ground. On this baler, the tines are about two and a half inches off the ground, so I want my gauge wheel to be about one to one and a half inches off the ground. To do that, I'm gonna use a series of holes in this bracket to adjust the gauge wheel's height. For more information on the Massey Ferguson LB2200 series large square balers, please visit your dealer or go to MasseyFerguson.com.